This video we are going to learn a feature called the whole wizard. In other CAD packages it might be called something different like the whole feature or whole tool, but for SolidWorks it's called the whole wizard. This allows you to put a great deal of industry standard sized holes to match drill bits or tapped holes or bolts or screws for whatever application you may want your part to be used for. We're going to see a little bit of those applications as we make a new part called the payload tube which will go in assembly A. Now, these dimensions are called hole callouts. This one right here shows that there is four of these holes in a circular pattern around the tube. This is just a single hole on the front face. These are three holes in a circular pattern. If you look at the isometric view, you get a general idea of how the holes are laid out. If they were not evenly spaced, you would see a degree separation call out in addition to the diameter and number of holes. Let's make our part. Moving on to sketch. This is just a basic tube sketch. Should be very familiar to you now. As well as dimensioning, which hopefully you got some practice on in the worksheets. Our outer diameter is 4 inches. Our inner diameter is going to be four inches minus two wall thicknesses of an eighth of an inch which will be 3.75 inches or three and three quarters of an inch. Again you could do this with the offset tool or you could draw two separate circles. Many ways you can make a part in SolidWorks. Let's go ahead and extrude this to 24 inches like the drawing calls for. Oh, there it is. Mid plane which will be useful later. Here's our basic tube. This is just a simple cylinder extrusion, but from this we can go on to make a slightly more complicated part through addition of holes. Look at the right hand face and pick a side to start from. This side will correspond to the bottom in this drawing. Go ahead and open the hole wizard. This hole wizard has several options for types of holes. A recessed counter bore if you want the head of the bolt to be flush or a counter sink if you have a tapered bolt. We're just going to go with the straight hole for now and we'll get to some of these other options later. The drawing calls for four holes of 0.1875 diameters. That will be found in the ANSI inch standard tab, all drill sizes. Let's just show the custom sizing to make sure we have the right one and there it is. 3 16 of an inch is 0.1875. We're on the right track. To position the hole, We'll select the Positions tab, and then select the face where we want the hole to go. Now here it is, it's tracking the face, and it will be perfectly normal or perpendicular to that face, which is good. Let's see, I want this here. Now, we placed our one hole. Let's just leave it there and hit the Escape key. Now, if you click that hole, you'll see the dimensions of where it's going to go. We want it perfectly centered along the Y axis here, so go ahead and select Y and enter 0. That shifts it slightly so it is perfectly centered along our tube. For the other dimension we look at the chart which calls out for 1.5 inches from the end. Use our smart dimension tool, select the hole, and select the bottom face. Make that 1.5 inches. There it is. Now we have a hole. So right there you'll see the sketch. I'm going to go ahead and hide that. So we want to take this hole and make four of them now. How do we do that? We do that with something called a pattern. A pattern is a very useful time-saving tool that can help you make many similar features in a basic pattern so you don't have to redraw them individually. We'll select what's called a circular pattern from the drop down menu. It asks what feature I want, and it's already showing me this hole. That's good. Now it wants an axis to pattern it around. I'm going to select this tube, which is a circular feature. A circular feature can be used as a feature pattern axis of rotation. And it looks like it has the hole in the right position. I must have used this recently to make something similar. Four. Yes, we want four total holes. One, two, three, four. 
equally spaced around the tube. And there they are. Everything looks good. They're all an inch and a half away from the edge. So we'll hit yes. And there it is. Four holes, 3 16th of an inch in diameter, there on our tube. Let's do the other side. This one calls for three holes of 0 0.0465. These are really tiny, so we're going to have to zoom in. Hole wizard. And we're going to have to go find our drill size. It's going to be really, really small. Probably in the 60s. Gonna overshot it a little bit. There we go, a number 56 drill bit here. Through hole, that's what we want. Position, select the face again. Seems a little farther away, so we'll put it over here. Exit, so we don't place more. Select our hole. Make sure that's zeroed on the Y axis. There it is. Click yes. And here's a little hole right on the face, which is where we want it. Let's do another circular pattern, this time with three holes. Let's select the feature, select the axis, and we don't want four, we want three. There they are, one, two, three equally separated, hit yes. There they are. Oh, I don't think I dimensioned this properly. Let's look. Edit the sketch. I didn't. I did not select the whole length. So when you want to edit a whole, go ahead and edit the feature instead of the individual sketches. Go to position, and there we are. Exit so you don't place another hole. And we'll go to smart dimension. Again, select the bottom face. And that's going to be two inches. Two. There it is. It wasn't far off, but just far enough to make problems for our lives later. And there we go. There are three holes, two inches from the sides and things are looking good. Let's place our last hole. Now this is interesting, it doesn't give a diameter, it says it's for a 632 weld nut, and it's only one of them. Let's go to our hold wizard. The drawing states PEM inch menu. This is to help you guys out, because you may not know some of these industry standards. Let's go to PEM inch. There it is. Scroll down, type to Weld nuts. That looks that looks like it's what we want. 440, 632. Here it is. A through hole again. Let's go to position. Center. Let's make these dimensions zero. So when we select this dimension, it should already be 12 inches. And there it is. See, if we add another dimension when it's already stuck to that point, it's called overdefined. We don't want that. There's our hole, along with all of our others. If we were to measure this using the measure on evaluate tab, go from here to here and look at the blue line that distance is pretty much pretty much 12 inches so that's where we want it now we have our payload tube with all of its holes we'll see how these come together in the assembly towards the end of class but for now go ahead and save it and get to work on your worksheets